Would you please welcome from Wandoa, Pat Devlin. Where are you, Pat? Thank you, Alan. Thanks to the Opie Carl Group. Um, you should be commended for this thing here tonight. Um, I'm from Wandoan. I was I wasn't born in Wandoan. My father and mother went to Wandoan as soldier settlers in 1954. I did all my schooling at Wandoan in a time when the Wandoan school had 400 kids. They now have a hundred, and the coal mine people tell us that the town will develop because of their presence here. <laughs> <laughs> We're not quite as bad as Ackman, and we've still got our war memorial. <laughs> One down is, is in the Upper Dawson, the whole of the, the area of Wandown and Taroom formed the old Taroom Shire Council. The Taroom Shire was some 79,000 square kilometres. Approximately a third of that is real good country. It's all the, the Briglow country. And for quite a few years, Wandown was was recognised in Queensland. The area took out field wheat competitions, bushel of wheat competitions. And when I was at Gatton College, Dr. Tom McKnight told me that the bread making quality of the Wandaan wheat that he saw was the best he'd ever seen. And he was a world expert on, on those things. Um, the, because of the economic conditions and the, and the, um, the drought, Wondoa <coughs> hasn't grown as much wheat in these years and it's mainly been, been taken over with, with um, cattle. Now we can't get accurate figures because the cattle go in so many different directions, but we estimate that this area is sending out something like 130,000 head of cattle a year. It used to produce in excess of 200,000 tonne of wheat and was at one stage the second biggest cattle trucking area in Queensland and the second biggest wheat depot. Just this last year, a crop of wheat out in the Grossmont area with the good winter we had produced a two and a half tonne to the acre crop. Now you blokes here that are farmers know that that's not bad. And it's not bad when you consider that we don't fertilise. And this, this, this country's been farmed for 50 years. We've been told that there's a, a great world shortage of food learning and that one of the things that's going to compound this is the, is, is the loss of phosphates from our soil. The Briglow soils are very high in phosphates and should be and should be protected at all costs. <coughs> we had a meeting at the country cabinet meeting in Roma last year with Stephen Robinson. There was <laughs> 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 He was, he was the minister who was in charge of all the strategic copy thing. That's when it first came out. He was in charge of floods too, wasn't he? And the health system. <laughs> oh, the water in the Waimano Dam. <laughs> now, we, we had a deputation with him and he assured us that, that he would do everything he could to to have Wandaan listed as part of the strategic cropping thing. And it was on his original trigger map. Consequently, with, with the change in ministers, Wandaan was absolutely and completely wiped. And the reason is Extrata. Extrata are not the only mine coming to Wandaan. We've got, we've got a whole swag of small mines as well. There's, there's Cockatoo, there's Metro, um, Stan Moore, and there's about three or four others with, with fairly small mines. The Extrata mine is, is 
just about signed and sealed at the moment. Um, there's a group of us going to the land court. I think we're going to get a horrible hide. Um, when we originally said to Extrata, we're sick of you, we're going to the land court, they said, yeah, well, that's all right. You won't be able to afford one barrister and we can afford 40. Well, we went to the directions hearing a couple of months ago. Extrata turned up with a legal team of 12, oh. led by a QC who the Friends of the Earth barrister told me was on 12 and a half a day. Oh. I don't earn that in a month. <laughs> <laughs> Do that in a year. <laughs> but it's alright when he comes out home, we give him an extra spot on his plate. <laughs> <laughs> now, the whole, the whole thing with, with these mines, because Extrada is now going to the land court, They've learned a lesson from this, and the other mines are now going in, especially Cockatoo, and trying to buy the country before they have to even do their EIS. And this, this will negate a lot of their problems. Um, originally, in, in the original um, strategic cropping program, there was a get out of jail thing in there that, that said that if the owner of the land didn't want his land classified as strategic cropping, he could so do so. Well, if the mining company owns it all, you know what the, the thing is there. They've also, on their next, on their next exploration part, have uh, the farmers that are, do, that are there have showed us where they've gone to take their, their soil sampling test because they're obviously doing that for their, for their um, environmental impact statement. And they're taking, they're picking the point. Instead of doing it random, when, when I went through Gatton College, we learned that that if you if you're doing something scientifically, you have to you have to use a complete random system to to find your your sites. They're going onto the ridges and picking their they're picking their site, and science has gone out the back door with them. But it will be written down and shows that it, that's a totally random random um, assessment. Um, I'm working here without any notes, so I didn't think I was going to be standing up in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, as for the, for the, the future of Wandaan, I, I really think that the town is going to suffer terribly. Um, the problem you meet when, when, when these mining companies move into town is they, they're pretty good psychologists and they will split your area straight away. That, that's, that's their straight, they, they work in, they get people on the ground to, to find out who's leaning whichever way and they'll pick the farmers off that they want to go first. We tried to, we tried to work a cohesive group that, and they refused to negotiate with us as a group and then they picked everybody off and just before the close of objections for the for the land court, they sent threatening letters to the people who, who hadn't signed up and threatened them with um, they wouldn't get any good negotiations. Well, they, they folded our group up and there's only um, there's three blokes left inside the mine out of about 40. And, um, and there's a few objectors around the edge. We're, we're actually next door, we're not, we're not inside the mine lease. And there's a few around the edge that are asking for um, make good programs for their boards and things like that. So they totally, and they did the same thing in the town. They, they convinced people that we're going to have terrific economic development in the town. And so you get your, you got a faction in the town who, who have been telling us that we shouldn't object because we're, we're buggering up their superannuation scheme. And, and that's basically what it amounts to. Rents in the town have gone through the roof. Um, I know of one house being rented for $700 a week at the moment. 
Um, and this totally takes out the structure of your town then because we've, we've got a sawmill in Wandaan and those blokes don't get real big wages. The, the blokes working on the council, they don't get very big wages unless they already own their house and did so for some years. There's no way in the world that they can, they can afford the rents in the town and, and, and this is where your town will totally, totally die. It's, even the school teachers won't be able to afford rent soon at, at the rate it's going and, and there's the structure of your town just disappearing. Um, I don't think I need to say anymore. <laughs>